In America Harley-Davidson riders are tough hard-working people with little fears to stop them. They are a special breed and many motorcycle could outperform Harley-Davidson, but nothing compares to the legendary Harley-Davidson once you have ridden one. Surprisingly motorcycle riders are usually friendly hard-working people unlike the movies and television shows. The Sportster is the entry to the Harley-Davidson world for many riders. Here are our recommendations for the top 10 Harley-Davidson Sportster models ever. Before starting, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more future updates. Number 10. 1957 Harley XL Sportster Ironhead The Sportster legend began with the 1957 Harley XL Ironhead, sporting a revolutionary overhead valve motor that worked with a 3.81-inch stroke and a 3-inch bore to create 883 cubic centimeters displacement. One crank pin was utilized for both connecting rods and was nicknamed a knife and fork arrangement. Individual valves were operated by a separate cam to simplify the valve train design, but both the front and back cylinders were fed by a single carburetor. Integrated into the back of the engine cases was a unit 4-speed gearbox while the motor, which was virtually hidden completely behind the gas tank, included two-cylinder jugs spaced by around 45 degrees. Number 9. 1967 Harley Sportster XLH before the 1967 XLH, all the prior versions were kickstart only. The new model came with updated engine casings to include electronic start. A kickstart case and an electric start case were produced for the Sportster between 1967 and 1969. In 1970, the engine casings for all XL versions were the same. With its new battery box and electric start system, the XLH shifted its frame slightly above its arm pivot. The seat post tubes were one and half inches farther back on the long frame. Number 8. 1971 Harley Sportster The switch from the 900 cubic centimeters to the new engine casings occurred in 1971, making it an important year for Sportsters, with the introduction of an automated advance mechanism. The lineup moved the distributor to the gear case's interior. For the second and last year, the boat tail tail section and fiberglass seat were added. As the name indicates, the wet clutch configuration rests in oil, whereas a dry clutch does not. This type of clutch is more harder to use than dry clutches, but it is also quieter than dry ones. Number 7. 1978 Harley Sportster Cast aluminium wheels and dual-disc front brakes were adopted from the Cafe Racer for the 1978 Sportster, along with Siamese exhaust pipes that increased both mid-range horsepower and torque. Rear shocks with longer strokes improved ride quality for both passengers and drivers. A steady voltage regulator and electronic ignition were standard on all XL motorcycles by this time, requiring less maintenance and making starting easier. Harley-Davidson released a special edition Sportster to commemorate 75 years of manufacture, which had limited edition anniversary graphics, gold cast aluminium wheels, and dark black paint with gold accents. The 1978 Sportster was hailed as the quickest, most powerful, and most nimble motorcycle of its day by the company brochure. This was the most Ironhead Sportster sales in history, with 17,000 units sold. Number 6. 1980-1981 Harley Sportster The 1979 Kickstarter models were phased out in favor of the 1980 Sportster, which had two disc brakes and a triangulated frame and discs. The back master cylinder was moved behind the rear exhaust pipe and out of the way, as all XL vehicles were now electronic start only. Electronic ignition was replaced with a Magnavox device that sent signals through an inductive pickup to a calculating control module. The term black box is often used to describe this component. An all-new drivetrain and electronic starter were installed on the Sportster, as was a dual-coil accelerator cable. Amidst the high-revving, multi-cylinder engines that dominated the 1980s, the Sportster remained unchanged. The 1,000 cubic centimeters V-twin produced all the torque necessary for the bike's acceleration, which reached more than 2,000 RPM without the need for a downshift. Number 5. 1983 Harley Sportster XLX61 
The introduction of the XLX61 in 1983 with no frills was clearly one of the best marketing maneuvers in Harley-Davidson's history. Only a single gauge, a small petrol tank, and a single seat were included in the machine. It was only available in black and was priced at $3,995. A total of 4,892 units were sold in its first year of availability. Even if the other three XL models were combined, they would fall well short of these results. In terms of sales, the XLX remains one of the most popular models in the Sportster lineup. Number 4. 2005 Harley-Davidson Sportster Since it was first introduced in 1964, the Sportster has undergone several major redesigns to ensure that its range of bikes were accessible to everyone. Harley-Davidson made a concerted effort to carry over all of the outstanding advances made in the 2004 model year. The most noticeable change in the new Sportsters was the reduction in vibration. If you've ever had a chance to ride a Harley-Davidson small bore bad boy, you'll know that the shimmy was legendary. Fortunately, the new model's 883 cubic centimeters air-cooled, rubber-mounted 45-degree V-twin engine eliminated the previous model's rattling, shuddering, and rolling. Number 3. 2010 Harley CRD XR 1200 in terms of Harley-Davidson motorcycles, the XR1200 from 2010 is one of the most distinctive models to come out. The bike, which was exclusively available in Europe, had a peculiar flat-track body type, but retained the famous American design. The large, dramatically sculpted aluminium tank from the Volteron Foundry's Carlos Delgado and Pablo collaboration is the show's showpiece. It had a nice logo from the 1970s, but its bulky tail unit was discarded in favor of a one-piece leather seat and a small subframe, giving it a Manx-like appearance. Number 2. 2014 Harley XL883 and Iron883 its cast aluminium wheels, black powder-coated engine, and Michelin tires have all been given a midnight black finish, as have the outer covers, hand and foot controls, and the belt guard on the 2014 Iron 883. The 883 cubic centimeters evolution engine and 5-speed gearbox were standard equipment. Additionally, the bike features a 3.3-gallon fuel tank, disc brakes, and the well-known Sportster single seat. Number 1. 2021-2022 Harley-Davidson Sportster S New Sportster S model from Harley-Davidson provides us a taste of what's to come in the Sportster series. The Moco deviates from 35 years of history by adopting a fresh, ground-up reimagination that bears little relation to its predecessor's powertrain and chassis. Featuring a modern chassis and a high-performance V-twin engine, the new Sportster is designed to compete in the sub-big twin market. While it's easy to see that the manufacturer drew influence from its defunct Virod series for the overall design of the new Sportster S, the engineers followed two distinct paths to get there, and the overall aesthetic remains comparable. The fact that the Bronx was going to employ the same engine is certainly worth mentioning. This concludes today's video. What are your thoughts on our